Queens, it's your girl Lashana with LE Style. And as you can see by the title of today's video, I am back with another lace front uh, wig. And I'm excited to do this wig review. I've been wanting to try this one, although I was not able to get the color exact to where I wanted, to what I wanted to get. They were sold out. I could not find it, but I did get something a little similar. So I'm hoping that I will like the color. I think it will be just fine. Um, but I'm really excited to give it a try. Um, but before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you who are already subscribed to my channel. Thank you for your love and your support. And I also appreciate you sounding off in the comments and giving me your thoughts and your feedback on the video, on the wig, or whatever it is that I am reviewing viewing. Um, also to those who are new here, thank you. I certainly appreciate your time today. I'm so grateful that you stopped by. There is a video, um, welcome to my channel video where you can, it's called welcome to my LE style channel, um, where you can find out all about me and of course see what it is that you can expect to see on my channel, which of course will be more of this kind of content, more wigs, all things beauty, uh, sometimes makeup, and then whatever else I may decide down the line to sprinkle in. But I do hope by the end of this video, of course, that you would have already hit that subscribe button. So thank you in advance. Now, on to this wig review. Another wig by Outre. I have been on a Outre bandwagon here lately. So this wig is another Outre lace front. It is an HD lace front. This wig is called Julissa. And I have Julissa in the color DRFF Golden Amber. So that is what we will be reviewing today. I will say that I am very, very much so interested in having the wig to look exact, pretty much exact to what you see here on the uh, model, on the card here. So that is what I am uh, hoping. Of course, this is, uh, again, it has HD transparent lace. It is heat safe up to 400 degrees. And there is a five inch deep part on the side. So um, I'm excited about getting this thing on my head. As you can see, I'm already wearing my wig cap. I have um, slipped my edges down just a little bit. So um, it does have some baby hairs. So I'm interested to see how we're gonna be flowing with that. So here we go, guys. Oh, we are looking. Oh, I already know I'm gonna like this, guys. Get all the rest of these things off of here. Um, I just want to go ahead and give you a uh, the construction of the wig before I start to style her and show you what we have. I like the color. This color to me is screaming summertime. Um, although normally I would gravitate to a lighter color, things that have more blonde in it when it's hotter outside, warmer outside, when I've gotten some sun and a tan. Um, but I'm gonna rock with this today. Very, very, very pretty. Um, as you can see, the five inches of parting space is kind of like a curved part on the side. And I like that a lot. It does not appear uh, that it needs to be plucked, which I'm liking that, although you can see the knots, but hey, this is a synthetic wig. I do like the curl pattern. I like the crinkly. I like the wavy. I like the length and everything. So it does have some baby hairs, as you can see, which these seem to be pretty much almost the same as um, the wig that, the Davy wig. So the baby hair seems to be um, that I just reviewed, and I do have a video of that. If you guys haven't checked it out, you can check it out after this one. Um, so we can work with that. We can work with that. Um, basically, there is one, one comb in the back. Of course, there are two combs on the side. And then 
you have that part right there, that five inch part. So this is not the type of wig that you can shift and because this is not a 360, this is basically just a basic lace front. So where this part is, that's where that part is. So there is no shifting. Um, of this wig, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. Oh, of course, I'm sorry. It does have these, I'm trying to undo them. It does have the straps, the adjustable straps too. So I just kind of wanna try it on my head quickly to make sure that it fits on my big head. And she is stretching nicely. So I'm happy about that. Um, it's a little snug, but it's not so snug that I'm trying to pull it to fit my head, but it feels pretty good up here. So I would say that it is big head friendly. Oh, mm, y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this thing right here. You know I'm feeling it. You know I'm talking. I ain't even cut no lace off yet. Yes. Yes, but this is definitely at summertime, baby. Yes, honey. So it fits good on my head. Oh, I like this, y'all. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So now that we know that it fits on the dome, I am going to go ahead and style it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace off, but this is what I'm gonna do first. I really don't even think, I brought my um, wig spray in here thinking that I was going to, my wig, my lace tint, this. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the tint on the inside and then I'm going to cut this lace and I'm just gonna uh, be spraying it, of course, around the peripheral of the, the wig right there. And of course, I'm gonna spray inside of the part. And when I use this, I don't, I don't saturate it at all. I don't like to use a lot of it. Just, just a little bit. So you can see right there. And I'm gonna get back to you guys. All right guys, so I have added my, um, my lace tint. I let it dry down some and I went ahead and cut the lace off. So, I mean, and now I am going to be putting it back on and I'm gonna use the combs, not to dig in my scalp, but just to secure it, obviously. So it won't slip and slide. And it's very comfortable. I mean, it, it really, really is. I am liking this and I I have room and y'all know my big head now <laughs> I have some room y'all so I am digging that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and work with the wig I'm gonna go ahead and work with these baby hairs and I am going to get back to you guys once I get these edges situated. So let's get to work.
guys, I am done. I am digging this wig. When I say I am digging it in every way, shape, and form, I, I'm digging it. This definitely is how I like to rock a lace front. Um, it's a bob, obviously. It's a bob shape. It almost has a little bit of an asymmetric to it, but not extreme, which I like that. I mean, I like a asymmetrical bobs. I can rock with those too. Um, but it's a little bit more fuller, of course, on this side than it is on this side. Um, it, the color, I mean, again, it is DRFF Golden Amber. I can't even tell you the color I was trying to get because I don't forget about that because this right here, uh, th this color is hot. Um, like I say, this for me, I, I mean, you, I'll, I'll wear what I want to wear when I want to wear it, but I normally would try to gravitate more towards something with blonde in it when I have more color on my face, when I have a tan in the summertime, because it really shows up better. I think it looks better on me, but Hey, I, I, I wanted to try the wig. I wanted to try it in a color. And I like this DRFF Golden Amber, so I, I'm sold with the color. The parting space was is, is five inches. Um, it didn't need to be plucked. The part was already right. That is definitely a plus for me, not having to pluck a part. Um, obviously, all you gotta do really is cut the lace off. Now, it did have a few little baby hairs. Y'all know me, anybody that's been coming to my channel, understand and know that I like the minimal with wigs. I don't like to have to do a whole lot of stuff to nothing, whether it's a lace front, it's a, a full cap, whether it's a half wig. I'm not down with a whole bunch of leaving the hair out or anything like that. Um, I'm not really down with gluing wigs. I'm just not. Um, I'm not the type of person that wear, um, you know, I'm trying to fool somebody. I mean, obviously, if, if I'm a wear wig, I want the wig to look like it could potentially be my hair, you know, or I want the wig to show up or I want to show up in the wig um, with the best, uh, you know, look as I can, you know, I want to show up. I want it to be nice. I want it to be styled nicely. I want it to be camouflaged nicely, but not to the extreme that it has to be glued and it just has to be so perfect that if the wind blows or something, oh my God, my edges are gonna show. Somebody's gonna know it's a wig. I, I personally don't care about that. So I'm not really into gluing anything near my hairline or my scalp. I just... I just don't. Um, I'm not going to say I never have, but it's not something that I practice often. So, especially when I have a wig that is going to be laying over my hairline on the sides, and all I really have to do is be attentive to this little part that's going to be obviously showing, I'm fine with using glue. You can see I use got to be glue with my little um, edge brush here. Um, I did spray the, the, use the tinted lace spray initially. And then obviously I used some um, mousse um, because I wanted it to have kind of like that wet look, um, which is what it does have. Um, so I did want it, even though it, it was pretty, you know, crinkly, crinkly coming out the pack. I mean, the wig looks pretty much just like the card. You know that don't happen all the time. <clears throat> you know that absolutely does not happen all the time. But this wig looks like this. It looks just like this. So I am, I mean, guys, I think the wig was around 25 bucks. Um, not a big investment. I this this wig is so easy. It definitely is beginner friendly because it's super, super easy besides cutting the lace off. And really, you didn't even, I didn't even have to use the lace spray. I mean, really, you could just put some powder in the part, cut the lace, slick down your edges with the baby hairs. I did take a black eyeliner 
and the areas where the lace had a little white cast on the edges, I did go over it a little bit with this to make it a little bit darker, like my the roots of my hair. Um, I didn't even use it all the way up here because you could see right here where the wig stops. Um, I didn't use it. I mean, because again, it's, the wig is laying over that. I mean, you could, if you wanted to get technical or whatever, you could take a bobby pin and bobby pin it like inside here and bobby pin it inside here. So if the wind comes, this, all of this isn't lifting up. I'm not tripping about none of that. I I mean, it's, it's the wig like it is, it's fine. Of course, you also saw me take and snip just a few little hairs. I mean, that was just me being me, you know. Something is hanging a little longer, so I'm gonna take my scissors and I'll do a little snip snip, but I have nothing negative, nothing negative, nothing negative to say about this wig. She is fire. She is easy. She got everything going, everything going for her. And she looked good on me, y'all. You ain't got to tell me because I already know I'm looking at myself. So I'm just going to put it out there. I'm confident in this wig and how it looks on me. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and do a 360 and we out. So of course, this is the front. We have the left side. We have the back. The right side. And the front. I didn't have to cut anything off of the back. When I say she, this is my kind of wig. Coming out the pack. <laughs> Coming out of the pack ready. This wig pretty much came out of the pack ready. So if you have not tried Miss Julissa, <laughs> you need to get her. This color is fire. Um, I'm glad I, I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm glad they didn't have the color. I don't even remember the color that I was gonna get y'all. I think I was gonna try to get the, Oh, I was trying to get the DR Golden Coral. That's what I was trying to get, and they didn't have it. So I got the DRFF Golden Amber. But this right here, look, let me tell you, baby, you better get you one. That's all I got to say. I mean, the wig is banging. They knocked it out the park with Miss Jaleesa, and I am very, very happy with it. Um, you guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I am so happy with it. I'm happy with everything. So anyway, I thank you for watching until the end. I thank you for sticking around to get the final look and the final thoughts. If you have not already hit that subscribe button, go on and hit it, y'all. What are you waiting for? You will continue to get this content like this. Please like, comment, and subscribe uh, to my channel. Of course, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted of any new videos that I will have to be uploaded on the tube. Of course, you will be the first to know. Um, follow me on IG. My Instagram handle is here. I do like to engage a lot on that platform. And of course, you will get a lot more um, day-to-day -day interaction, of course, day-to-day -day, uh, content. I try to post daily, I try to, um, but there is, of course, a lot more different content. I am right now, um, because I post in my stories a lot of different things that I eat. I'm on a healthier journey, of course, trying to shift some things with my um, eating habits. So I post a lot of little different things and I've been getting a lot of inquiries about what's this, what's that? How do you do this and that? So I've kind of started doing little IGTV videos of some of the dishes that, I, um, that I've been making. So it's just a little bit more, of course, that goes on there. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. I love you guys. I thank you for tuning in. I value your time. I do hope that this review has brought you some value. And just give me your feedback. Give me your feedback. And I definitely will take the time to respond. I do respond to feedback. So I appreciate you again. I love you. Thank you so much. And you guys have a blessed day. Continue to be safe. 
And of course, have a blessed day. Thanks guys, bye.